Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to draw a Minecraft Creeper. I've divided the whole process in three easy steps. In step 1, we'll be having a look at the body structure. In step 2, we'll be having a look at the different poses. And in step 3, we'll play with some lighting and with some colors. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Show me your own drawings at uh, Twitter at SmartMinerArt, link is in the description. Leave a comment in the section below if you have any suggestions for the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's move on to step 1. So we start off with just a basic cube for the head. You can take a dice from any game or any other cube form thing and try to draw some different uh, cubes from some different angles and positions. I'll be drawing uh, the cube for the head from the side, but you can draw it from any other angle. To draw the body, you have to draw a rectangular, a bit of a box, form directly underneath the cube you've chosen to use. Try to make it a little longer and a little leaner than the cube of the head. For the moment, we'll draw it with some straight lines. At step 2, we'll play with the cubes and boxes and give it a bit of more of a curve to bring the creeper more to life. So, now we have a cube with a box body, but to draw in the face, we'll draw in a line in the middle of this uh, side of the head cube to know where to put the eyes and mouth in a symmetrical form. Now add in the face everyone knows. And voila! Now we just have to add in some legs and we'll have the basic structure for the creeper. To add in the legs we draw some curved rectangles underneath the box or the body. And that's the basic structure of a creeper. It's not that hard, it's just uh, some different boxes put together. If you want to practice some more, go ahead, look up some references and try from different angles. We'll now move on to step 2 and play with some different poses. So, now we're in step 2. And to play with the poses, all you really have to do is repeat uh, step 1, but play a little bit more with the boxes of the body structure. You can just choose a, uh, a an angle, an angle you like, an angle you want, you think it's e you think it's easy, or something else. I chose uh, uh, to draw a creeper from the front angle, but you can draw it from the back, from the side, from any weird point of view, from the yeah, from the ground, from the sky, anything. And when you're playing with these angles, you can try to uh, uh, be a little bit more uh, curvy. Try to add in some curves in your boxes, they don't really have to be as straight and as strict as just a regular cube. You can make it a little bit more organic. At the corners you just make it make the corners round. Try to make it a rectangle without any points, anything that may hurt or something, I'm not sure. sketch out different things, it's a sketch after all. So when you're sketching just try not to be perfect because it's a sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect. When you're moving on to the line work like I'm doing right here, you just then you're trying to be perfect but you don't have to be. You can mess up once or twice Definitely when you're doing a digital, as you can see here, I'm just 
fixing some smaller things. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's move on to step three with some color. And now for step three, we'll add in some color. Well, color is pretty obvious actually. It's just a creeper is fully green with some uh, light green, dark green, black and white spots. So just fill in your line work with green, add in some uh, dark green with uh, for some shadow. Be sure to look where the, your light source is coming from to make sure the shadows are in the correct place. As you can see I chose uh, the light to come from upwards or front. But you uh, can choose yourself, it yourself. And yeah, nothing hard about this. If you have your own drawing and want to share it with me, again, send it to me on Twitter, at SmileMiner. I'll have a link uh, in the description. I'd love to see it uh, and give you some feedback. I'll even put it in the next video. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial interesting. This was my first time ever talking this much. So apologies for bad English or bad whatever. I, uh, if you have any feedback, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear what I can do better or improve or whatever. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for the next video, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.